For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to provide a very brief recap for week six. Last Friday, March 1st, 2024, we had our last or our uh, whole group session. Uh, we'll have one more on April 12th. Um, but last Friday, our focus was mainly on collecting data, thinking about the different sections of the method section. And one thing that we didn't mention that I think is worth mentioning that when you're def thinking about and deciding and choosing this week, week six, your participants, that many of you are going to need to apply either questionnaire, maybe an interview or focus group. We're going to need a reason why you chose certain participants. We're going to need a specific reason why you chose a teacher that not, not necessarily is because it was convenient, they live close to your house, or it was a, a friend or a colleague, but a more specific reason to justify your choice. And one of the ways to, to get that information, or several ways to get that information, is through questionnaires, interviews, and focus groups. So I've included a link here for creating a questionnaire for choosing your participants that I think is worth reviewing. And this is going to be what we're going to be focusing on in our conversations this week and our tutoring sessions, how you're going to go about choosing the participants. Now, I will say that one thing that we didn't talk about uh, that I think is worth mentioning here is when you're choosing the teachers, I would have all of your participants who are teachers to sign an informed consent form. And this is going to just give them a level of assurance in terms of confidentiality and also maybe some of the information or details about your study. Maybe it also includes uh, a reminder that they're able to withdraw from the study at any time. So you want to have this level of transparency going forward whenever you're choosing certain participants. So I have included a format or an example of an informed consent form that you can use to start with, and then modifying it as you need to. If you go into Microsoft Teams, and I'll pull it up here real quick, you'll be able to find the form under the general channel, under Files, under Method. And you'll see there a Word document that's called Informed Consent Form Template. And this is what I would use. I would download the template and then modify it as you need to. And this is something that we can talk about in our tutoring sessions if need be. But again, I would, I would ask that you include an informed consent form for any teachers that you're choosing as participants for your study and then make a decision also if something similar is necessary for including, uh, let's say, students as part of your participants. This is going to depend a lot on the school Maybe the coordinator or a supervisor can give you some information about whether or not that's necessary. It's going to depend on how many students also. These are things that we can talk about all in, in greater detail on a case-by-case -case basis. But I would suggest that you include an informed consent form for each of the teachers that you decide will end up participating in your research study. So take a look at this uh, questionnaire. We, we'll talk about doing either interviews or focus groups. Typically, a questionnaire is going to be appropriate whenever you have, let's say, one school with several teachers and you're not sure which teacher or teachers are going to be the, the best choices for answering your research questions. You might apply a questionnaire when maybe meeting them face-to-face -face is either difficult or maybe not, not even possible. If you have, if you're dealing with fewer teachers, let's say a school with two or three teachers and you have an opportunity to sit down and have a conversation with them either individually or as a group, as in a focus group, then, then you could set up a, a guide to help you go through that interview, an interview guide or a focus group guide. And again, these are other instruments that we can talk about uh, in our tutoring sessions during week six. Remember that all interviews or focus groups that you have, any kind of conversations that you have now with any of your either participants or potential participants, I would record everything. Make sure you're transparent. Make sure that you are letting them know before you have the conversation that you're going to record this, but it's for research purposes only. And it's very important that all interviews and focus groups are recorded. Anything that's not recorded is not going to be permissible in your study. 
where it's not going to be allowed to have anything, any conversations you had, unless you were able to record them. So do keep that in mind, whatever you're setting up these interviews and focus groups throughout the next uh, six weeks or so that we're going to have to collect our data. Remember that our timetable here is until March 12th to collect all of our data. Realize we have uh, Holy Week, which almost is a wash in terms of getting any good data a lot of times, only because there are uh, things that are scheduled typically during that week that may interfere with uh, your objectives for your research. So do keep that in mind. Plan ahead. Make sure you're talking, uh, talking with teachers well in advance so you can have an idea about more or less their schedule as we are getting into this part of our, our study so that you can anticipate when they're going to have exams. Maybe they have special assemblies or uh, parties of certain of some kind that might interfere with your data collection process. Make sure you're uh, asking those kinds of questions from the very beginning so you can plan for those accordingly. So this is going to be our focus for week six. And um, remember that our main question for this week really is answering the question, why did you choose your participants, right? What's the reason or rationale behind choosing the participants that you ended up choosing for answering your research questions? So we'll stop there. Make sure you're reaching out if you have any questions. And uh, I'll see everybody in your next tutoring session.